to our other top story tonight, a pair of roundtable meetings. Very different opinions, though, about the Inflation Reduction Act. What will it end up doing? The legislation passing right along party lines, Democrats in favor, Republicans against. The potential impact is being described right along those same party lines. WHO 13's Taj Simmons joins us. You had a chance to meet up with Congresswoman Marionette Miller-Meeks. Uh, what does she think about this Inflation Reduction Act? Well, she thinks it will be more like an inflation inflation act, and she stated her opinion on this on numerous occasions ever since that bill made its way through the House to President Biden's desk. She reiterated that point of view in front of her constituents tonight as she and two special guests long for the days of the previous administration. Founded by the greatest president of the modern era. This video featuring former President Donald Trump laid out the theme of this town hall in Newton. America first. This America first effort is led by two of the former president's closest allies, former acting attorney general Matt Whitaker and former WWE CEO Linda McMahon. I was really proud to be part of the president's cabinet. It stopped at Maytag's old headquarters Thursday night with Congresswoman Marionette Miller Meeks speaking to her likely voters. Iowans are struggling to make ends meet. And I know because I visited them in every county in my district. Miller Meeks immediately criticized both President Biden and the brand new Inflation Reduction Act. Now is not the time for another government spending bill, and we need common sense solutions that work. A common thread all three panelists talked about is a desire for strict immigration laws at the Mexican border. The Biden administration appears to be unwilling to do anything to stop the flow of people and illicit drugs across our southern border. The immigration crisis is so severe that every state has become a border state. McMahon and Whitaker plan to take their America First ideology on the road, with more town halls planned across the country. But Miller Meeks hopes to use her ideas to improve the lives of Iowans. Who pays for those policy failures? We pay for those policy failures. Higher gas prices, higher food prices are a reflection of what's happening. While most of that talk focused on opposing the Inflation Reduction Act and encouraging more action at the border, Miller Meeks did share one idea to help boost the military. Her idea is she frowned on the requirement for the COVID-19 vaccination among active service members since she said the pandemic is essentially over. Elias, as you can tell, a lot of opinions, a lot of thoughts being shared down there in Newton. Yeah, and Taj, we appreciate you getting that side of the story.